hey y'all welcome back to my channel i think this makes my fourth video um so if you guys have enjoyed the last three let me know in the comments um if you are enjoying my channel please make sure that you like comment and subscribe on these videos and the ones to come um because i'm just excited to be back right and i'm excited for us to build this community together and i'm excited to grow here on youtube as we build this community together so as you guys have noticed, this video is going to be about all things moving to Charlotte. Um, and if you don't know, I love it here. I absolutely love it here. Um, and lately on Instagram, people have been sending me messages about what my journey was like moving to Charlotte. Um, and I have been here for almost two years. It'll be two years in September. So I was like, there's no better time then the present to make a video about moving to Charlotte. Um, if you're thinking about moving to Charlotte, this video is for you. If you're thinking about moving away from home at all, um, or maybe you've already moved away from home, but you want to move to another city, hopefully this part of me sharing my journey is helpful to you. So let's start with preparing to move. Um, we're going to hit a bunch of different topics, but I just want to break it up so that it's easier to digest two summers ago um summer 2021 i was in delaware um and i was working on moving i knew that i was going to probably move one more time in delaware and then move to charlotte a year later because i had visited charlotte loved it here had friends at the time that i would come and visit um and just fell in love i fell in love with charlotte the very first time i came loved the airbnb and was literally looking up like buying a house and i was not in a position to buy a house but i was like i love that airbnb so much i was like looking up that neighborhood looking up that house i loved being in charlotte um and from that point that might have been like four or five years ago i knew i would move to charlotte um so taking it back to summer 2021 um i was planning on moving in delaware um and then just a few things happened and i was on vacation in charlotte and i was like you know what guy if you want me to move to charlotte earlier i'm gonna apply while i'm here if i get approved i'm gonna believe that it's you and if i don't i'm gonna believe that there's somewhere else in delaware you want me to be and sure enough by the end of that week i got approved um and three weeks later i moved to charlotte so in terms of preparing i had already been saving that year to move uh, from January to August. So I was in a position to move. Um, but I didn't think that I was going to be moving to Charlotte at the time. Um, so I would just say if you are preparing to move, definitely make sure that you are scoping out places, scoping out parts of places, which is actually the next thing that I want to go into, which is exploring parts of Charlotte. Um, when I was here on vacation that summer, and I was like, I can't tell if God wants me to be in Delaware or if God wants me to be in Charlotte right now. I actually took a day while on vacation and looked at different places in different parts of Charlotte. Now, this was a little bit easier for me because I had visited Charlotte before. Um, but I would encourage anyone to do this. I have said this to people that have messaged me or that have talked to me about moving to Charlotte. Look up parts of Charlotte. Literally Google the list. Charlotte is so much bigger than I thought it was even with me having knowledge, but ever since moving here, understanding the different parts. Like you can live in many different parts of Charlotte that have many different names and your address still say Charlotte, comma, North Carolina. Um, and so for me, that's what I did. I made a list of areas to visit. Um, I know I didn't wanna be in the heart of the city. Their downtown is called Uptown here, which is a little bit confusing. Um, I know I didn't wanna be in Uptown, but I wouldn't mind being close to Uptown. So I looked in Noda, um, which I don't even fully know what that stands for. I know the end of it is about, it's like an arts district that's really close to Uptown. Um, I looked in the University City area. I looked in the North Lake area and I looked in the Ballantyne area because it's nice. And at the time, I knew I would visit Elevation and their main campus is in Ballantyne. Um, so my first recommendation, if you want to move to Charlotte beyond visit, because that's always my first recommendation, is going to be visit and explore the different parts. There are so many parts and geographically, I don't even always know what people are referring to. People would be like Mallard Creek, Steel Creek, Indian Trail. Like you can get confused and overwhelmed really fast, which is why I would say visit and explore different parts so you can see what part matches your vibe for where you want to live. Um, when I first moved, I lived in Noda. I was a five minute Uber from Uptown. Anywhere I wanted to go in Uptown was five minutes away. It was great, um, but where I was was near Optimus Hall, and in the summer, people be turning up, and I lived on the street side, so it was just like, I got tired of 
people being drunk and loud at night. Honestly, I got tired of my neighbors being loud above me. Um, and so I moved from that area. Um, in terms of where I am now, I'm more in the suburbs in Concord. So I'm about 20 minutes from uptown, but I love where I live. I absolutely love where I live. I'm not too far from the mall. I'm not too far from some of my favorite restaurants. I'm not too far from my church. Um, and when I want to go into the city, nine times out of 10, I would just Uber because it's just like, I'm not with trying to figure out how to park and where to park and all of that. And by the time you do all of that and pay, for, you could pay for a garage or Uber once you figure out all that time and alleviate the stress. Um, so it's just like, I will typically Uber if I go into the city. Um, but where I love to be is where I live in the suburbs and I can't complain. It's quiet here. It's nice where I'm staying and I love where I live, but I'm not sure where I live while I'm living here because the internet and people are crazy. Um, however, if you are moving to Charlotte and that's more of a one-to-one -one conversation, that's something we can have if I know you. Um, let's go into our next topic. So we've been preparing to move and exploring parts of Charlotte. Our next topic is finding a church. So this is actually something that people have messaged me about as well. And I will share my journey because as you guys know, if you follow me on Instagram, I'm very involved in my church. Um, but I didn't start at my current church when I moved here. So when I moved here in September, 2021, um, I didn't immediately look for a church. Um, I was watching church online. I would typically watch Change Church. I love Change Church. So I was like watching that while preparing to start to visit churches. Um, and then I have always loved watching Elevation and Stephen Furtick. So once I actually Googled and figured out that the main campus was like 20 minutes from where I used to stay, I was like, oh, I can go there. So after listening to him for years, I'm talking about seven, eight, nine years and de downloading Elevation Worship's album, it was for me like a no-brainer. Like this ministry that I've been loving online, I want to go visit in person and see what it's like. And they had smaller campuses where they stream the service and stuff near me. But for 20 minutes away, I just felt like, let me go to the main campus. Um, so maybe about October, November, I started going there and visiting there. Um, and I really loved it. The worship, phenomenal. The word was always phenomenal. I would go to the 930 service. And it, to me, it was just like being out of service by 11 or 1130 was new. Um, that was a new experience for me. But I love that. Um, and I really, I really enjoyed it. What I will say about my experience there is while I really enjoyed it, um, there were still some things lacking community wise for me. So I knew that it would be like a transitional place. Like this is a place where I can go and get fed on Sundays and I'm going to have great word and great worship. Um, and I knew that eventually I would probably go somewhere else, but it was a good transitional place for me. And that's what it was. So then last May, May, 2022, um, I had followed Union Church online with Pastor Stephen Chandler and they're under and knew about their campuses in Maryland. Um, but I had no idea that they would be coming to Charlotte. So I think I came home from service at Elevation one day and literally saw that they announced that Union Church in Maryland was launching a Charlotte campus. And for whatever reason at that time, like I was so desiring something that had everything that I wanted out of a church. I knew that was my church and I can't explain it. I cannot explain it, but I just knew it was my church. Um, and my pastors at the time had had something where you could like sign up and do a Zoom and meet with them one-on-one. -on -one. And that's what I did. Met with them one-on-one, -on -one, learned about their vision for the church. Um, they learned, we got to meet each other and get to know each other. And like, I have pretty much been locked in ever since um, with Union Church Charlotte. I love it there. I love my pastors. I love our people. I love our team. I just love the way that we get to do church and the way that we get to reach people um, in a very relatable, practical, but life-changing and transformational way. Um, so that is why I go to church now. I was a part of our launch team and then my church launched January 29th of this year. And yeah, I am here. I love it here. Um, so in terms of finding a church, that was my journey. It really was just visiting Elevation and praying about where... God was going to have me next, but be okay with being planted at that time and what was the now until the next place came that was going to be my real next place. Um, so in terms of looking for a church, if you're moving to Charlotte, I would say be prayerful. You know, if there are churches that you're familiar with, like I was familiar with Elevation before moving here, 
visit them. Also be open to visiting new churches um, and take your time. I feel like church and, you know, like who you're under as a spiritual leader, where you're growing and where you're getting spiritually fed is such a big deal um, that I wouldn't take it lightly. I would definitely take time and visit churches, pray about it, fast about it. Um, you know, ask people questions about their church and be serious about finding what's for you because I feel like it's just like building a friendship or a relationship. It takes time um, and you have to spend time in a place and see how they do things. And for everyone, it may not be as easy as it was for me. Finding a place that I was comfortable with and then finding a place that was kind of like an answer to my prayer and it was a no brainer. But definitely invite God into your church journey um, and go from there. And if you guys have questions about these topics, feel free to drop them in the comments. Um, I wanted to start with finding a church and then lead into making friends and building community because joining my church has also helped me build community in Charlotte. So my first year here, I had friends that I knew here, um, but I didn't go out and like venture out as much to make new friends. I don't know that I was like intentionally trying to make new friends. I think I felt like I was good with my community and I was just trying to get to know Charlotte the first year that I was here. Um, going into my second year here, I think I was a little bit more open about meeting new people and making new friendships. Um, I had also experienced some transitions in my friendships, which made me a little bit more open to meeting, um, new friends. And so I think that state of mind also made me literally more open to meeting new friends. Um, and by being a part of this church, I made friends and have made friends that are amazing. Like, not in a I want to go to church and meet people way, but just like people that have aligned way. Like one of my friends, we've been stuck together probably to the hip since we went to a dinner last June before our church even launched. Um, and there are a couple other ladies that I'm really close with that I have met through my church. Um, I just one or two ladies that I know that I'm building friendships with from Pilates and I go to Pilates. So it's just like. What I was telling someone the other day is I started building community here when I started getting more involved in things. And so it's like, you always have people laugh and joke and be like, women think that their husband's going to come to the house and find them if you're dating. That's probably not going to happen. Uh, the same thing for friends. If you're not willing to get out the house, then it's going to be harder to make them. Um, so I think that if you're looking to build community and you're open to new friendships in your area, think about things that you like to do or think about things that are important to you, right? For me, I know I wanted to find a church. Um, this year, I knew I wanted to get into trying Pilates. And as a result of me finding those things that are like hobbies or that are important to me, I have made friends. Um, so I think just have an honest conversation with yourself about one, are you in a space where you're open to making friends and building community? And then two, are you willing to do a little bit of the work, right? Because if I wasn't open to going to church or going to Pilates or being open to meeting people in other ways, then it really wouldn't matter how many amazing people were coming my way if I wasn't open and I wasn't willing to participate in the effort of actually making new friends. Um, so yeah, I think that's it on making friends, building community, and things to do. That's where we're headed next. Okay, I changed my mind. We're going to do dating life and then things to do because I think that's going to mesh a little bit better. So while we're on the topic of church and community and meeting new people, Let's jump into dating life. Um, I don't have a whole lot to say, so that's the spoiler alert right now. If you have high expectations, don't. Um, in terms of me giving you the tea on dating life in Charlotte, can't give you a whole lot of tea. Um, when I first, not when I first moved here, but maybe a couple months after I moved here, I went on a first date with somebody that I met on an app. And that gentleman was a really nice gentleman. We had really good chemistry. All of the things... Um, but when I went on that date and met that man in person, he did not look like his picture. So, you know, that was my first time trying apps. And I think I was a little bit done after that. That was like maybe December 2021, January 2022. So it was like, okay, probably not going that route again because that was strange. That was just strange. And why? Like, why? Why put up a picture and you know you don't look like yourself? I don't even want to get into that. So that was my first dating experience in Charlotte. Very short-lived. Very nice guy. Really good connection. Couldn't get past the fact that you posted pictures and you didn't look like these pictures. It is what it is. Um, My more recent dating experience in Charlotte has been great. Um, 
and that's all I have to say about that. There are definitely people in Charlotte who are dating. Um, I have friends that date and, you know, as the internet is saying, dating is mixed right now. Some people are having really ghetto dating experiences. Some people are having really amazing dating experiences. I am currently having great dating experiences. Um, in terms of like people approaching people and all of that, one of the conversations I've been having with my friends is like, people still say people don't talk to people in person. However, the people that I've met are talking to me in person. Um, so I cannot all the way relate. Um, but there are people here, you know, if you're a person looking for a person, there are people here looking for people. Um, and so if you're open to dating, wanting to date, by all means, come here and date just like you would date wherever you are. I don't necessarily think that the dating experiences that people are having in Charlotte are different than the ones that people are having somewhere else. In fact, I don't think that at all. I've had that conversation with friends that are up north, with friends that are more south, with people that I know that are on the west coast. Um, so I just think if you're open to dating and you move to a new city, enjoy getting to know people in your new city that you wouldn't have met if you were in your old city. Um, and let me know how it goes for you. The next thing I want to talk about is things to do. So one question I get all the time, especially when people are coming to visit Charlotte, is asking for things to do. And I try to share places on my page that I go on Instagram. I typically share foodie places. I love a good restaurant. I love a good brunch. I love a good dinner situation. I um, like to get out and try something new from time to time. So that's what you'll find on my page. Um, but there is something for everyone. And that's what I love about Charlotte. I tell people all the time, there's something here for everyone. If you like to go out at nighttime, there is nightlife. If you like to brunch, day party, there's those things. If you don't want to be in the mix at all, but you like art, you like museums, or you want to make candles, or you want to do cooking classes, or you want to explore, there's literally something for everyone here, and there's enough for you to mix up what it is that you want to do. Um, I do solo dates often, love them, love to get out and explore the city, and just enjoy, um, but there's literally so much to do. You can just look up things to do in the part of Charlotte, like things to do South End, things to do Uptown, things to do Concord. There's literally more than enough to do here, no matter what you like to do. Um, and lastly, I wanted to end with pros and cons of moving away from home. So we're going to jump into that and then we'll wrap this up. Okay, so I will start off with a con. I think this is probably the biggest con. And this is personal for me because I come from a family that is very close. So obviously, the biggest con for me is that I am not near my family. Um, so I'm in Charlotte, North Carolina. My family is in Delaware and Pennsylvania, um, sprinkled between those two states for the most part. So being eight hours away from them is a con. You know, like it's not ideal since we are very close knit. My parents and my siblings and myself, um, even my aunts and my cousins and like my grandma. I'm like, I have two sides of the family where we're very big family people. Um, so I think that's not something that ever deterred me from moving, but I had to be okay with the fact that like, there might be things that I miss out on. I'm not gonna be able to fly back for everything all the time. Um, there may be moments that I wish I was a part of. Last night, my brother got home from traveling and he made my family some uh, lamb and we all love lamb. He made a bomb dinner, they said pictures. That would've been a really cool night to be a part of, but I'm in Charlotte. So it's like, I did not have any lamb, um, but I love my family. And I went back and forth to see them a lot last year. And what has been beautiful is this year, my family members have started to come and visit me and are planning to visit me. My mom came to visit in March and she was like, I see why you love it here. Um, my sister and my brother-in-law came last month, loved it here. Um, so even though it's a con because I miss my family, I don't get to see them as often. Um, the pro side of it is people coming to see you and getting to experience your world. Um, and so for me, I have way more pros than cons. Um, the pro of moving away from home is really just getting to enjoy and live out a dream. Like when I moved, when I visited Charlotte, I knew that I was going to move to Charlotte. And so living in Charlotte and enjoying my life here and working here and being involved with my church and just literally building a life in a whole different state on my own, um, it really is like a dream come true. It's like, wow, I, the first time I visited, I said I would move here. And four or five years later, I moved here. Like, and it's working out. It's going really well. I don't have a desire to go back home uh, and move up north. 
I absolutely love it here. Um, so one of the pros is definitely just living out the dream that I said I was going to do this and I'm doing it. Um, I think another pro of moving away from home is you really get to know yourself and what you want out of life, what you enjoy, what you don't. Because it's like you're on your own. Like unless you move here with somebody else, you're on your own. So it's like the things that you're doing are based on what you want to do or based on what you don't want to do. And you figure out a lot of what you do want to do and don't want to do when you're by yourself. Um, another pro is just getting to be in an environment that feeds you. So for me, I always tell people Charlotte is a breath of fresh air and that the air is different here. Um, I don't know how to explain it, but it just is. It's slower than up north, but it's not a slow pace of living. Um, it's just different and it feeds me. And when I would travel, I would literally want to know when I'm coming back to Charlotte. Um, there have been one or two times when I visited Charlotte that I've extended my trip. So it's like for me, Charlotte has always felt like home. And so being in a city, being in a state that feels good, that feeds me, um, feels really good. And I think another pro of moving away from home is just getting to experience and explore a different part of the U.S. for yourself, right? You can do that when you visit, but you really get to explore and get to know a place and what it has to offer the people and the culture. Um, and open yourself up to new experiences when you literally pick up and move somewhere different. Um, so I think those are my pros. And as much as I love my family and not being near them is a con I have way more pros than cons. Like I said, I really love Charlotte. I absolutely love it here. Um, I haven't been anywhere else where I really was like, I would move here. Like, I would move here and I would live here in a heartbeat. Um, so I'm really just grateful that it has worked out for me the way that it has. Charlotte completely has my heart. Um, like I said on my last video, I'm blessed because I feel like I have two homes. I can go home and see my family and my friends. And that's going to always be home because they're there. But this year, I think I have really settled in Charlotte, like really settled. I moved here in December, didn't go back until May. Um, and last year I was back and forth a lot. So it was like, even though I had moved, it didn't settle that Charlotte was home. But this year it has really settled that Charlotte is home. This is where I live and I absolutely love it. So if you guys have any questions about moving to Charlotte, living in Charlotte, or just moving away from home in general, even if your destination is different, feel free to let me know. Um, but those are all of my thoughts. Um, it's been a little bit over a year and a half. It'll be two years in September. So I just thought I would share this vlog in case anybody's thinking about making that move. Um, and I'll be sure to answer your questions in the comments. But that's all for now. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next one.